Okay, so I've just created a new project uh, with the standard assets, the character controller, and the terrain assets uh, packages. And I've brought in the master camera files, which are the rig and the script. And I've also got this uh, little terrain here to make life just a little bit more interesting while we play through this. And so we'll start out with just the regular old camera that comes with the third person controller in Unity. I'll just drop this guy in here, pull him up. Uh, so with this, we can just run around and uh, we, the camera clips through things, everything, ground, whatever. And it can be a little uh, annoying to line up with stuff. Uh, kind of slow. <clears throat> it works pretty well, but when you're trying to do like a maze or something, you're clipping through all the walls and then you can't even see yourself, which can be a little frustrating. Uh, and we can do a lot better. Master camera allows us to very, very quickly, easily, and with versatility, and uh, do quite a bit better. So let's take a look at that now. The first thing that we want to do in bring this up is to uh, kill this third person camera script down here or else it will fight for control. So we'll kill that. And we don't need the main camera uh, because our rig has its own inside. So we'll grab this camera rig here and we will throw it anywhere into the history of the world and it will automatically find our player when we get it set up. <clears throat> so the next thing uh, we need to add the master cameras and we need to do add our player and then whoops our player. We need the mesh of the player. So if you just click on the actual player, usually you'll select the mesh and you can tell with the you can see the materials. So this is the pelvis, is the mesh for this, so we'll grab the pelvis and throw it on the player mesh. And then um, we need to set up the layer masks as well. Uh, and for that we need the correct layer. So for our, well both our third person controller and our master camera rig, uh, we need to add them to a new layer, which I always call player because it's easy. You can name it whatever you want. Um, so we'll take our third person controller and set it to player. Yes. And then our master camera rig is set up to be that layer already. And so we want our layer mask to hit everything, uh, hit everything except our ignore ray cast as normal and our player layers. <clears throat> so once we have that, then we can run around and we won't clip through objects. Uh, all these uh, little white spheres and um, boxes and everything, those are just visualization to see exactly what's going on with the rig, and we'll go through that in a minute. Um, so there's several different options with the master camera to set up. So right now we're on the follow, and it works. Uh, is it? It just follows the the character around, and so we can check through the different kinds, like uh, that was follow and mouse horizontal. Just allows you to move on the horizontal axis. Axis with the mouse. So wherever the mouse goes forward is what the camera's looking at. And so you can walk forward and then left and right and towards the camera, which is back. And you can also scroll in. You can do this with all the cameras if you set it up to. Uh, scroll in. And you can also strafe. So if you want to be if you've got like a third person controller or like a third person shooter and you don't want to be looking right directly at the back of the character's head, uh, you can set up to where you strafe over one shoulder or strafe over the other shoulder. So that way you can 
um, come up on corners and you can you can peek around the corner and kind of take a look around there and uh, it won't let you go through walls so you don't run the risk of clipping through the wall so your players can't uh, you know have the camera run through the wall so they can see through your maze or whatever see what's in the next room uh, <clears throat> and so we've also got mouse horizontal and vertical so this is just your standard kind of uh, third-person shooter type thing and you still got the strafe and the zoom in and the zoom out and let's see we've also got I don't know why necessarily you'd want just mouse vertical but it's there and uh, just for fun and we've also got follow with button look so this is if you just want uh, like your regular kind of follow camera to follow the character around but then you get to a place where well, that's really fast we can adjust that too but uh, you get to a place where you want to let the player just kind of look around at their surroundings you can in this case it's uh, set up to uh, left click uh, by default so you can just left click and spin all around uh, and then you know continue about your way so those are our rotation options and then we'll go we'll go through all the all the other options here